Okay, so we're on our inverters and inverter chargers here, comparing some differences. So this is basically just a basic inverter, and this is an inverter charger. So all this inverter does, it takes DC and turns it into AC from your batteries. A really good device to have before playing on this stuff is actually a voltage um, detector. If you have a look here, if I put it near any active wire, it goes off. Let you know that actually voltage is live. Put it over here, nothing happens. So, good safety device to own to check and make sure that everything's off. So, these inverter chargers, as, as I said before, to pick a good quality inverter charger if you're buying online and buying the internet, it's pretty simple. Um, if you look at the weight of an item, now if something's three kilowatts, 3,000 watts, um, and you know, is 100 bucks and weighs two kilos, and something's, you know, 3,000 watts, weighs 10 kilos, um, well, more likely about the 20 or 30 kilo range. Um, the reason that they are is because they have these toroidal transformers, and which is basically a big, big ball of copper. Um, that's what makes the difference in, in these devices. So this is actually only a 350 watt, um, 12 volt inverter. Um, I use this for camping when we go camping. This is what makes the difference between the cheaper ones and the good ones is, is, is the these toroidal transformers, as I showed in the other grid feed ones that have the resistors, they go dry and stop working. Well, these have these coils and they'll last a lot longer um, and they're a lot better quality. So it's pretty simple when picking inverter chargers uh, or inverters is actually look at the weight uh, if you're buying stuff online because if they've got the weight, they're going to be a good quality product. Same with batteries, look at the weight. Um, okay, so in these Victron inverters, um, this one here actually has a toroidal transformer, which is pretty much that big. Let me go here. This device here weighs somewhere near 30 kilos or something that's quite heavy. I know we've got a bigger quattro over there, which we're going to show you a little bit later on. Um, it's over 40 kilos. It's actually really, really heavy. So um, the heavier they are, the better quality they're going to be because they've got lots more stuff inside them. So, okay. So the difference between these two inverters. So, so this is an inverter, inverter charger. The basic difference is this takes your DC from your batteries and turns it into 240. That's all it does, quite simple. Um, and for us, we've got a switch. If we were to go back to the grid, we flick a switch and it takes us back to the grid. But these ones here, they have a little bit more magic inside, they're a little bit more complicated, but just as simple to organize and wire up. Got your battery positive and your battery negative that goes in here from your battery bank. Now this is a 48 volt, where this one's a 12 volt. Still the same size. Um, these ones are just a bit heavier, they've got more copper inside. So you put your batteries, you know, your 48 volt here, your positive and your negative into your inverter charger. Then this one actually has an AC mains in. So you can actually put a grid or a generator or whatever backup source of energy you have. You can stick that in there. So if your inverter charger, this is a five kilowatt inverter, 5,000 watt inverter. If it doesn't have the capacity to run your load, it can grab power from the grid. Another really good thing about this inverter charger is it actually has an AC1 and AC2 outlet. So it's actually got two outlets. So let's just say basically this is the one you decide to run your house on. Okay? So your AC1 goes over into your switchboard and that powers your lights, your TV, your fridges and stuff like that. And if you actually watch a lot of videos on all these new battery technologies that come out, they talk a lot about dedicated loads. Um, and what it basically means is when they say you can only run your devices on dedicated run use these batteries on dedicated loads. They're meaning light loads, like your lights, TVs, fridges, things that don't have real big grunty motors like we talked about in the energy savings video. So what can happen with this here with the two out outlets? One runs your home or runs all those dedicated loads before them. The second one, what you actually do with that there is actually it'll run, we're going to use electric hot water for example. So if you hear the solar charge control in the background, I'll explain later on. That fan's going to cool it down because we've actually got so much sun outside and producing energy. We're actually producing three kilowatts of power right now, 3,000 watts um, within the solar charge controller. So that's what that noise is, the fan cooling the device down. So what this allows you to do is to run your electric hot water only from the mains or your backup supply. Um, so the rest of your house will be run from batteries and that one circuit, or you might be able to put a few things on there depending on the inverter charge that you buy and the capabilities of that second load of how much energy you can run from that second load. So basically, pretty much goes straight through the device and grabs power from the grid or from your backup devices rather than actually take it from your batteries, which is really cool. So, 
which is pretty simple. So that's the basic inverter charger of how they work. AC in, you've got the one AC out, or you've got um, your dedicated load, which you can run your dedicated load on. Um, they're also a charger, so you can actually charge your batteries from them. So they're all completely programmable inside, um, which will they'll come with a manual on how to do that. You require a bit of extra information, a laptop, and a few other things. Uh, Victron actually have a Bluetooth device, which can actually tune it from your phone. So you can do a lot of different things with these inverter chargers. Like this one, for example, can be become a UPS, which is an uninterruptible power supply, which basically means that if your batteries go flat, it'll put everything back to the grid, or you can have it the other way around, where everything runs from the grid, and if the grid fails, it grabs power from the battery. So this is all completely programmable from inside. So depending on your family situation and what you want to do in your home, is whether you want just an inverter and use your, your grid as a backup, or if you require an inverter charger to run your home, charge your batteries, and those big dedicated loads um, with like your hot water, air conditioners, and things like that. So pretty simple.